In this video, I'm going to show you how to beat cover two over even 30 yard zone drops. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And one of the ways that we do that is through uh, tips and strategies like this that help you kind of learn what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and what you can learn from it. So if you haven't subscribed yet, it's completely free to click that subscribe button. And it, also, if you want to know whenever we release a new video, you can turn on the notifications as well. We release a, not, a lot of videos a day and uh, a lot of different strategies and tips for you guys. Now, in today's video, uh, we're talking a little bit about a cover two beater from the gun bunch. And I'm in the New York Jets gun bunch right now. It's actually one of my, I mean, this has probably been my favorite playbook so far this year. It's really, um, it's really a fun playbook. It's got a lot of unique things into it that it just kind of combines a lot of the powerful concepts in the game. So we're going to talk about Jets dig today and uh, why this is really good. Now, the biggest tip that I have for you is you want to be using these you want to be using this to the short side of the field you don't want to be using this to the wide side of the field i've tried it both ways and it has just worked better for whatever reason deep half zones um they they, they actually don't play as good to the short side from what i've noticed they actually don't play as good to the short side especially if they come from a corner or a safety on that side of the field so Anyway, Jets, we're just going to go over Jets dig. And first of things first, I want to show you kind of some adjustments that you can do. So really what we're going to try to do with this is we're going to try to uh, essentially get the, the safety to latch on to the, um, to the tight end. So I'm going to put the tight end on a streak. And then from there, what I'm going to do on the back side of this is I'm going to run, um, and this is actually really important, you want to make sure that you're putting the the square receiver, the solo receiver. You don't want him on that deep dig route. You'd rather have him on a curl route um, against this defense. And then the last thing that I like to do is I like to take the circle receiver, Tavon Austin, and I'll typically put him on a drag route, okay? You can leave him on the flat route, but I like to flow everything to the left side um, to try to isolate that one-on-one -on -one with Devontae Adams over the top. So at the snap of the ball, what you're gonna see here is this 30 yard cloud flat will drop, but at a certain point he's gonna leave him, and that's where you can kind of that's where you can kind of hit this. Now, obviously a 30 yard cloud flat is going to do a, a, a a decent job at kind of getting back there um you know if they don't run if they run even if they just run something as simple as a 25 yard cloud flat it's going to be a lot easier the 30 yard cloud flat does the best that i've labbed but what you'll see is eventually he will clear and you're going to hard ride it you have to it has to you you have to use a gunslinger quarterback in my personal opinion um if they're going to be doing something like a 30 yard cloud flat on you that's just what i've seen uh, i have not uh, it's a very tight throw, but with that gunslinger quarterback, if you can wait on it a little bit, let him clear, and then hard outside right pass, they click on, and you're going to swerve catch him. Now, one of the things that you, like I said, the 30-yard cloud flat does do a decent job. Um, if, they, if they do Mabel that at a 30-yard depth, you will see that it does do a decent job. There are some other things that you can do uh, to, to deal with this. But again, I want to reset the play, uh, streak that tight end. If you take table, if you leave table and Austin on his curl route or his flat route, um, that will help pull the zones out of the way for you and give you a little bit more room. As you can see right here, if I leave him on the flat route, it will give, it will kind of pull them out. Um, the reason I don't like to leave him on the flat route is because unfortunately like just the way that i play i don't like having a route on the field that i mean they they can de I mean, you can definitely use it but it's not it's like you're not gonna throw the flat you know what i mean you're you're, you're really not you're normally unless they just blitz everybody you know it's it's unlikely you're gonna throw that flat route to table on austin that's the primary reason but again you'll see he does pull these zones out of the way especially if they're using those zone drops and as you see right here you have that little window now, that's with 30-yard cloud flats. I want to show you the same play, but I want to show you it if they're on default. And the reason why is because I want you to see what happens um, 
it's actually a lot easier to beat if there's not 30 yard uh, 30 yard clouds. You'll see it's really really simple if it's if it's just if it's just standard cover two. But this is a huge uh, I think a huge breakthrough out of bunch because uh, if I was defending on bunch I would be running personally a lot of uh, cover two style defenses. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna put this curl flat here on the or I'm gonna put this first. I'm gonna not put the curl flat out there because I want to see you just to see what happens. Um, if you don't have that. So again, just putting the X receiver, the tight end on a streak, the square receiver on a curl, and watch what happens here. I mean, this is almost an instant dot. I mean, it's it's very hard to stop it if they're not using the 30 yard cloud flats. I mean, it's almost an instant one play touchdown if they aren't using 30 yard cloud flats. But there is one thing that they can do um, from a default look that will give it a little bit of a just different feel. And that is to put a curl flat zone on their slot, or not a curl flat zone, I'm sorry, I picked the wrong zone, um, to put a seam flat zone. So let me grab a seam flat, and the reason why is because the seam flat zone specifically will do a decent job on this. So this is seam flat. Um, unfortunately, because you're not in a two by two, this won't match him, but he'll jam him. See how he gets that little jam right there? And then it's gonna take a little, you see that right there? That's the biggest thing that you gotta watch out for. That's the That's like the thing that you really do need to watch out for. If they put a seam flat out there, in my experience, it has actually done a relatively consistently good job um, at getting this. If Because you see how it gets him inside? You can pass lead this, but it's not, as, it's not as clean by any means. Now, if they're doing this to you a lot, and you know they're doing this to you a lot, then you can certainly adjust. One of the easiest ways to adjust is to simply put Devontae Adams on a fade and now you should see, well, I guess he still does get forced inside, and that's not what we were looking for here. Um, but you could also put your circle receiver on a on a route as well. So, um, you know, you could do that. If, you, if you're starting to see, oh, they're, they're, they're jamming, they're jamming Devontae Adams at the line of scrimmage, they're jamming my slot, right? Then you could do something as simple as this right here. Now they're not going to jam, and but you still have all this, all this space to be able to hit this route to table on Austin. So that's another thing that you can do. It's more, I would do it more from the verticals play itself because the verticals play itself, if they're in, if they're in standard cover two, uh, the verticals play is gonna be impossible to guard. There's so many other plays that it's gonna be hard for them to stop, but that's where I would almost go to a, a play like flood. You see, you're gonna get that jam um, and then you just gotta get this ball out here to table Austin. And it's not as easy to do it because of, you know, where he's at, but you know, let's, and again, near side, short side, all that stuff, you know, I would probably want to run this more to the wide side in that scenario. Um, you know, but again, as you can see here, there's just nothing, it's just, it's just hard to get this guy off of the jam. Uh, you can try to even do some underneath stuff here just to kind of clear him up. But unfortunately, just with the way it works, it's going to put him in a bad position. It's the best thing that they can do to stop this is man this slot up. But you have to realize, okay, well, if they do that, then you could go to a flip look like this. And now, even if they even if they do bump the slot, um, you should have a pretty decent chance at getting over the top. Because now you've gone from the short side of the field, you know, to the wide side of the field. And then you can go to a play like, you know, really anything. Because, again, they're not going to have... They're not going to have zone drops, right? So, because they can't to press. So now you can just run standard mesh and get over the top of the cloud. So that's that's kind of some, you know, a little chess match back and forth of what you can do with this. But overall, this is a phenomenal passing concept, um, specifically against cover two. There's really only two or three things that they can do to stop this against cover two. And that's why it makes it, in my opinion, such a good uh, powerful play for you against cover two. So that's how to beat cover two, especially with those 30 yard cloud flats, which can be hard to beat uh, from gun bunch, at least over the top. Um, so there's some tools for you to be able to do that. If you want to get the full ebook whenever it releases, it's going to be just 15 bucks. Uh, my cell phone number is 208. 218-6900 so you can text me that way you'll know whenever it comes out uh, or if you have any batting questions you can always text me that's my personal phone number and then the last thing i did want to tell you is if you if you want to get a my text message playlist which is 15 offenses and defenses we add a new one every single week and they're like full schemes they're like an hour to an hour 
hour to two hours long that break down full big nickel over G or full 335 wide or full 335 or whatever, um, or full bunch or full U trips or whatever. Um, you can just text me, uh, but what I want to encourage you to do is text the word Madden to my cell phone number, which is 208 218 6900. And that way, it's going to give you, it'll shoot you the playlist and you can start watching all of those schemes. Um, a lot of pro players use very similar tactics to what we share in those videos. So, something you can start doing if you want to get better at this game. So, thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a text.